Hey there, Polygon. This is Speed Run. Today is April 11th, 2013. Here's what we've got for you today. Was Far Cry 3 not quite crazy enough for you? Ubisoft has confirmed that Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is an actual thing. The game is coming to PSN, XBLA, and Windows PC. Ubisoft said that the game was inspired by 1980s B-grade action films, and it's set in a post-apocalyptic world that transforms the island that you know and have nightmares about into a cyborg battleground. Creative director Dean Evans told Polygon, the game is stupid and it's okay. As we get closer to Microsoft's May 21st event, we're getting to know a little bit more about the next generation Xbox. Allegedly, the next Xbox will launch with a new Forza racing title and Rise, a game that was shown at E3 2010 and then shown briefly at E3 2011. The game is set in ancient Rome and uses the Kinect motion controls to fight other Roman soldiers. That should be really fun to watch my friends flail around and headbutt the air in my living room. Okay, this is crazy. A Russian-based security company has uncovered a several years long campaign by cybercrime group Winti, in which they've been stealing code from online gaming companies and using that code to create software to spy on activists and steal aerospace secrets. Yeah. The group has infected more than 30 companies in the online gaming industry worldwide, including South Korean-based Neowitz and Nexon, and US's Tryon Worlds. Researchers say the group's goal is to steal digital certificates that companies use to authenticate their software and show that it's not malicious, then use those certificates to get their own malicious software on targeted computers. Let this be a reminder, if you're a big online gamer, make sure your password is strong and keep an eye on your in-game bank account for suspicious activities. Electronic Arts was hit with layoffs today, rumored to be from its Montreal-based mobile studio. An undisclosed number of employees were let go. A representative for the company told Polygon that this is part of the company's initiatives towards streamlining its operations in preparation for next gen. This is the second time the company's been hit with layoffs in the past two months, with layoffs hitting EA Montreal, its Los Angeles studios, and other smaller locations in February. That's it for today. Make sure to check out the stories on the site and tune in tomorrow for the next episode of Speedrun.